So here's a situation like what I was talking about uh, at the beginning of the video. Um, we got a red and blue activation chip. Here's a red. The colors are all muddled. But this is a red hex. It's going to activate. And if I'm reading everything right, there's no one here, so it's going to go there. Right, which now frees up the back of the board. So I understand them pushing forward, but at some point it seems like maybe they need to stop, um, or that they won't go forward of you know the the deepest Commonwealth unit, something like that. I don't know. Um, general situation: orange map. You can see here I moved this all the way down because all of the commandos here have been wiped out. Uh, they got in here and just the fire between this green and blue unit just wore them down. Um, they kept getting suppressed, suppressed, uh, and then finally, um, I think just this turn, uh, one unit was eliminated from the green and then just now one was eliminated from the blue. Same thing over here. All of the commando units are gone. And they got stuck uh, right in here. And between this orange and blue, they, they're pinned down. Actually, I think they did get here. There's nowhere else for them to go. Well, uh, I didn't see that. They probably could have gone that way. Uh, they still would have been pinned down here for a little bit. But So the way it works is even if, if this hex fires and it's not the same symbol, they're going to get suppressed. So they're suppressed, suppressed, suppressed until they're wiped out. So those guys are... The commandos fought valiantly but couldn't quite get to their objectives. On the main map here, uh, we have two, four, six, eight, and then this turn they're going to get this ten. Um, not looking great. Evacuation starts in four turns, and I am going to play where no more victory points can be accumulated after that. Um, this artillery right here somehow got missed. Um, so I think these guys are going to come down and try to wipe this guy out. He, um, This guy did have double strength. Yeah, more than double strength, but he didn't have the heavy weapons, so he got worn down and then suppressed, and he's kind of in the killing box right now, so hopefully these guys can come down. Well, all they can do is, still, all they can do is suppress them. No one has heavy weapons, but maybe if one guy, you know, two guys can stay in there and just keep suppressing that guy every time, that might be, that might be a good plan of attack. Uh, so we're going to go in, as you can see, a lot of the German positions now are being held by Commonwealth forces in here, so they're kind of keeping a decent lane open. Um, I just, you can see it there, got a random event uh, rolled. The only one I have rolled, which is uh, miscommunication, and uh, I guess I took it from here. One of the beaches loses a transportation point. I guess they they call for for uh, evacuation before anyone's even there, and some of the ships take off. So that's how it stands now. We're in right in the middle of turn ten, um, which kind of a plus about the way this sequence of play is laid out. It's literally it just goes that way, and this falls right in the middle. Very, very handy. Uh, so we'll keep going and come back in a bit. This was an excellent, excellent German operations phase for the Commonwealth. Um, these chits didn't activate anything, which is great news. Um, and I don't think that's a flaw in the system. I think it's actually great. As the game goes along and as uh, German units are eliminated, the game really speeds up. Uh, you kind of know who's where. You're not looking... I mean, I don't have to worry about... Not... Yeah, about a third of, of the game. 
um, with those units being eliminated. I mean, obviously I'd rather have them, but that just eliminates having to look over there at all. Um, so with this activation, there are no green and no brown units. This guy, the Coastal Hex guys, don't do anything, so he's just kind of hanging out. Um, kind of... Nothing ever happens with that guy. He just kind of hangs out. Um, that The Commonwealth has yet pretty well. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do victory points wise. Um, got a few more this last turn. Um, it'll take me a couple more turns to get the rest of what I can get, but I think I think by the time we're in 16, I'll have them and we can start pulling guys out. Um, but stepwise, not sure where we're going to be. These should all be at two. So the victory conditions of the game are um, it's the amount of victory points plus the number of steps evacuated and then you look at the uh, the victory chart here and basically 70 and above is a victory 65 64 and below is is a defeat of some sort you can see that there so yeah the historical result I think I'm pretty close to already um, they're they're hanging on and then just pulled a random event good news everybody the tank wall is destroyed so now um, even though he's taking a hit that tank right there and this tank right there can actually go into the city um, and wreck some havoc reek I guess reeks and whatever. Um, so that's where it stands now. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm doing. I think I'm doing okay. Which is how I felt last time, and I think I did okay. Um, I think I was in a tactical victory, which sounds about right. Um, I think I'll be there again. Um, I think I'm going to get everything on this map Probably except, I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab that. These guys are going to have a hard-fought fight right there. Um, but I think everything else we should be good for. Um, I'll play a couple more. I'll probably come back um, for the Commonwealth turn 16 and see where we are when evacuation starts. And we start, and I'm just going to blindly evacuate them they're they're gonna rush off off this map um, looks like most people are gonna be right here but it's gonna be slow going um, only three steps can come off and the tanks are two per step uh, two transport points per step so that's that's gonna be rough for the allies it is turn 16 and we are in general evacuation so I guess I have to turn that over um, captured everything I wanted to except this guy. Um, he was up here. This guy, um, and it would have taken him a turn to get in here, and then, um, something's not right. I think he should actually be there. Oh, this, yeah, it's this guy. He was up here. I would have taken him last turn to do it, and... Um, since we're in evacuation, he, he wouldn't have been able to get it. Um, but other than that, this guy ended up disrupted here for a couple turns. Um, so I, did, I don't think there's any reason I can't get that if he's disrupted. Spent a couple turns in there um, with some undisrupted guys. So I think, I think that's fine. Um, got everything else on the big map. Um, my one probably component complaint, uh, I don't really mind the errata on the counters and that kind of thing. That, it's gonna happen, it's a magazine game. Um, and it's a great magazine game. I just need more of these. Um, I understand that it's a fine balance of you know what they can get on a counter sheet, but I 
don't have one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven victory point hexes I don't have captured. Don't ha uh, so we're we're short seven seven counters. Not a not a big deal. I just mark it. I put I put one of these on it. So it you know it's fine. That's probably my only complaint about the game. Um, and it seems like it's still that there is some support for it, and that's maybe there will be some additional fixes. Um, but so we're in general evacuation. We're gonna get these guys moving. Uh, this commando just came on. He came on suppressed in turn 14. I guess he would have moved. Um, I think he did get up here and then was pulling back out. So we'll continue from there, but um, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So 25. Oh, well, you know what? I think that's an auto victory. Hmm. Yeah, looking at that. Yeah, it looks like I just won an operational victory. Yeah, let's recount those. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if I'd still need to play the game out. Um, because killed units don't affect outcome. It's just victory points and uh, evacuating units. Let's do that again. One, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. Well, that's fun. Cool. Um, so I won. <laughs> that was exciting. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying at the beginning, this one seems to be easier than um, what I've read about D-Day at Omaha Beach, um, which is fine. I don't mind an easy game to win. It's still very, very engaging. Um, played out pretty differently. Um, I, well, I guess to a point, I, I had some, ex some no, I had failed brutally there last time. Had some, some success up there, none this time whatsoever. Crushed across the board. Um, here, this this did end up playing out a little differently. Um, I seemed to last time, I think I had a bunch of my guys land over here, and these hexes here got clogged up really early, um, so they had to make this long trek around, uh, which was kind of brutal. Um, so this, this one didn't really have that. Uh, this guy would spend some time getting off. Um, these guys would have a, a fairly easy time getting off the board here. Um, you know, there, there's four guys over here that would be able to do anything about it. And, and they could. Um, these guys would have a tough guy, tough time getting off. But again, <laughs> one of the brutal things about the game is you could potentially leave guys behind and they don't count against you, they just don't count as positive points for you. Which is, you know, <laughs> I guess it says something about uh, about the time and the, the import of the mission. Um, but I think with the double count, and at 25, I'd, I don't know, I don't know that I need to keep filming it. I, don't, I might play it out uh, for my own sake. We'll call the video there. Um, like I said, it's it's a game I really really enjoy. A system that you know it's been said over and over again. It's just phenomenal. Um, I'll be getting D Day at Omaha Beach when it reprints sometime this month, um, and then probably getting the uh, Jap Japanese games or Pacific Theater games that are coming out for it. Uh, and I'm sure I'll be doing videos of them at some point too. Thanks.